what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music and a break down this song, Sweater Weather. And also huge shout out and thank you to Boss for making a killer sounding patch. I was using it in the intro there. And it's uh, for the Boss Katana. So check out the link in the description. Totally free download link. It's obviously for the Boss Katana. So check out the Katana as well. Thanks for supporting. Break it down. All right, I am transcribing this one from ear, just to let you know, so I'm gonna give you just the best version that I came up with. Uh, the first note is an E flat, so that makes me tune the whole guitar down a half step. So you can get that note in there. I'm using the great patch from Boss to give that kind of reverb echoey sound. So my middle finger is on the octave of E, which is the seventh fret A string, and then the major third of an E major chord. With that, I'm putting my index finger on the sixth fret D string to get that, and I'm hitting boom, dun, gun. So E, then that one, then both of them, or all three. Don't get the rest of the strings in there. Then I'm moving up to the uh, another position of just E major. And sometimes you can maybe hear a little slide in there. And so that's ninth fret across the G, B, and high E, and I'm playing G, B, and then pinky onto the 12 of the B, and then back off and hitting that B. So all together. Then I'm playing this A minor shaped bar chord here. We can call that G sharp minor or A flat minor. And I'm plucking the A string, the D string, then going over to the B and then back to the D. Now, if you hit the G by accident or choose to, it all still works. That's fine, but like that. The next bass note is still that A flat, but the other notes are so if you can stretch, I would do that. That bass note happens to also be right here. But it sounds to me when I hear the riff that they're probably stretching it to get that note in there. I could be wrong and that's okay. So after I go, I, I hit that note as I stretch. So that would be the 16th fret across the high E, B, and G. And my fingers are not long, and I can do it. So it's, it's definitely possible. Now, if you want to, if you don't want to do that stretch, you could just forget that bass note and just hop over to... And the rest of it's not that hard then. no stretch there. So that's the, the main part that's going on in the verse. Now when it goes into, uh, there's a little, there's a little really overdubbed, much louder 
guitar that comes in on octaves. And then when you get to the next section, it's very, very washy. So uh, I'm kind of having to follow the bass a little bit to tell you what's going on, but I'm gonna do my best to show that to you right now. So this octave part with overdrive, it's actually on the, on an E flat now. And so I'm just hitting the notes on the A and the G string. Everything else is muted by my, my index finger. And so if you look at just the index and then the rings up a whole step on the G, then it's six, four, back up into the chorus. So boom. But that is an overdubbed part on the recording. All right, and so the chords are E major seven, and I'm gonna play it like an E major bar chord. So that's barred across the seventh fret with the root on the A string, A major shape. But I'm adding the major seven on the 11th fret high E. Oh yeah, wiggle, wiggle. And then C sharp minor, and I'm gonna play a bar chord. So that's along the ninth fret with the E minor shape there. And then an A flat minor or G sharp minor, which is the fourth fret bar E minor shape there. And then up to B major. So that's along the seventh fret with the E major shape. So it goes through all the way again, and when you finally get to the final, which you could play is just an E. You can also play it like that. It's the same chord. When you add that, it's that extra color. But there's definitely some washy stuff going on as well. But E, C sharp minor, G sharp minor, B, does it again. Last one before the new section. It goes to that. And we're calling that F sharp major. The F sharp's right there, which is the second fret of the E with the E major shape. And now we have a new section that was definitely recorded with, you know, different instruments at the time. So let's check that out. All right, new section, three chord jam is what it starts with. And we're gonna play C-sharp minor, so that's barred along the fourth fret on the A string root, A minor shape. Then B major, which is the A shape, barred along the second fret with the root on the second fret A string. Then F-sharp major, so that's just second fret E, so this becomes the E shape. You could... that F sharp sus four. And yes, it is, uh, but a whole step higher. All right, good news. It just transitions to the chorus progression at the end, with or without that major seven. So E, C sharp minor, G sharp minor, B major. And that's it. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Also, once again, huge thank you and shout out to Boss uh, for sponsoring this video and making that killer sounding patch. 
for the Boss Katana. You can get it in the description below. Also, check out the Boss Katana. Thanks for supporting Marty Music. Hope to see you again real soon. Take care.